you want big forearms, stop doing this. So if you want your forearms to grow and get nasty, the common knowledge in bodybuilding world is wrist curls, supinated, pronated, or the classic spin the bar, spin the bar, spin the bar. That didn't do shit for my forearms. Because if you think about it, I'm only using the bar, maybe a five or a 10 on there. If I want my forearms to grow, guess what I do? I'll do reverse curls or hammer curls. So let me show you what that looks like. Reverse curls, overhand grip, squeeze the bar. I like to use easy bar because it's better on my wrist. You can use a straight bar if your wrist can take it, but mine just can't. Here, come up, squeeze those forearms. And then guess what, when it gets hard, you reach failure, do bottom half partials here. Squeeze, squeeze. So if you get eight full here, and then eight bottom half partial, I'm telling you, your forearms will be screaming at you. So next up, second exercise of choice, gonna be a dumbbell hammer curl. There's lots of ways we can do these. So let me show you. We can go here, double arm at once. You can go single arm here. Or lastly, you can go cross body here. It's also called a pinwheel curl here, cross body. Either way, those two exercises are gonna give you way more forearm development than any amount of wrist curls because the loads we're gonna use are gonna be heavier, the burn's gonna be better, and the range of motion is fuller. So if you think about it, if you want bang for your buck, if you want your forearms nasty and thick like Papa, guess what? Ditch the wrist curls, get the easy bar, bang your reverse curls, hammer curls, game over. If your forearms are a weakness, I would do reverse curls for four sets, and I'd also do hammer curls for four. I'd start my bicep exercises with one of those two, and I'd finish with those, and in the middle, I would put like preacher curls and like a regular normal supinated, either dumbbell or barbell curl. So if you look, you're doing four exercises for biceps, forearms, I would start with a reverse curl, four sets, go into preacher curls, go into supinated curls, and lastly finish up with a hammer curl. You do that for three months, I promise you your forearms will look better, thicker, than when if, if you did 100 sets a week of those wrist curls. Stop it, I'm telling you. It'll be worth every bit of time and your effort and energy. If you like this video, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Ditch the wrist curls, pick up the hammer curls, and watch your forearms go like this. Bam. Have a great day.